They, they got a lot of shooters. And they love to penetrate, draw, kick to the corner, and hit that three. That three go up, that gym was rocking, boy. Ooh, they got they got a tough team. Them boys tough. Monty, Savy, Elion. They got some good pieces to go with them three right there. So that, that's a tough team to beat. But he got the job done. Happy for my boys. And King, that, you know, there were moments where you guys could have pulled away. Yeah. And that their resolve showed where they made it. It's a tough environment on the road. How did this test you guys versus the tests you faced so far this season? I think in the situation. Yeah, um, playing teams like Ignatius and Garfield twice and Lutheran West and Lutheran East, them big games like that. We had the Richmond game. We ain't played that, though. But them big games, they, they prepared us for the moments like these. So when, when we, we got that, we had to count. Sometimes we had to call a timeout. Other times we didn't. But we all came in a huddle. Our brothers, we got to get together and, and battle through it. That's just what you got to do sometimes. Uh, we did a great job at it. That's why we came on top. You know, late game situations, we've been in these uh, situations before. We didn't been had times where we were down um, under two minutes or whatever. So we work on late game situational stuff all the time in practice. So it was just about execution and taking care of the basketball. You, know, you guys have had the reset. Obviously, there's that uh, storyline with, with Ken and stuff, mm -hmm. you know, but since then, you guys have had to reset your rotations again. Oh, yeah. Oh, How yeah. do you feel like these kids have rediscovered themselves, and what's that journey been like these last few You know years? what? It's been, you know, I, I talk about the my schedule all the time. We didn't see it all. So that was me mixing up the lineups, and we play a bigger team. I might throw some different guys in there. We play small. We play fast. we just been adjusting to everybody that we play. So they've been used to I got guys starting, not starting. So it's, it's been kind of like a norm thing around here. These last three to four practices, they really helped us, and they helped prepare us for this game. Knowing that it's winter go home, knowing that we had to take care of business, where it wouldn't be no more basketball this year until next year, I think it really put a chip on our shoulder. We all playing as a team. We all figured each other out. That's how it's got to be. It's a team effort. You guys had to have growing pains to start the season. Did you feel like you guys had to have growing pains again with that reshuffle? Uh, a little bit. It was going through, it was going through some, but we're going to get better at it. We're going we gonna to be right back at it. But y'all can't forget what you put in is what you get out. We got good chemistry. We hang out with each other all the time. Like we're out of school, out of basketball practice, all that. So we got good chemistry. We could adjust with each other very well. But it'd be some ups and downs, but we, we all live each other. We get through it. How much has King matured over this whole season? In yeah. the beginning, it was kind of shaky because he didn't want to listen to nobody, but we his older brother, so he know he got to listen to learn. So he's getting, he's getting there. Freshman year, it, I wouldn't say it's a lot to deal with, but it's, it's, it's a big clip to hide. Sometimes you got to step up and take on the challenge. And that's what I had to do as far as I, as far as this year. I had to do it last year. Um AAU, we went to MSCS, I don't know if y'all familiar with that, but it's a big tournament, the top teams in the country, so you, you gotta sometimes step up and take a talent, and that's what he asked me to do, and I, I feel like I did a good job at it.